Jordan will I still say, feel that send way. you a screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> to fix the, the like the with box. the star i mean i need to i can go to the hardware store i just haven't i have a drill i like to use my drill but kona's buzz. like one day i'm gonna make you a room that's just full of shelves because i that's the dream. just need a shelf for everything and i don't have enough shelves yes <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still like I'm waiting. I'm waiting for I can that see shelf plenty room. of wall space there. Shelves, potential, all the things. All the things needs to be all on the shelves. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have closet space. So you might as well have shelves. I don't know. Exactly. Shall we move to? Uh, yes, we shall. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole? All right. All right. Oh, you said you are the asshole. No, no, no. No, no. we're d- judging if other people are assholes. Um, okay, so I've read this one several times. <laughs> yeah? It still makes me laugh. I don't know why. It just gets me. Okay. Um, some of these are short, and some of them are a little longer. Yeah. Mm, this one's kind of short. Title one more time. <laughs> Am I the asshole for leaving the hospital after my husband called for his mom Instead of me. My husband, age 31, was in the hospital for a surgery that involved anesthesia. His mom came to wait with me there, but didn't speak to me because we have been having some minor disagreements. She offered me coffee, but I declined politely. Hours after the surgery, we were told only one person goes into the room for the day since he was still under anesthesia. From what I understand, he woke up calling for his mom. The nurse asked for his mom to go in, and she did. I was irritated and felt like all this waiting and stressing out got ignored. The nurse told me that he was still not fully awake and was repeatedly calling for his mom spontaneously. She was basically hinting that I shouldn't get worked up over a natural reaction from my husband, but I couldn't help feel irked. I wanted to go home, so I left 10 minutes later. His mom called saying she got out the room, out of the room after I left so I could get time with him, but instead I couldn't wait and went home. She said this was not okay and I flew off the handle for no reason. I said that her son acted like I wasn't there, but she said that she cannot be blamed for something he can't control and I'm just being unfair to him and putting blame on him because of a disagreement between her and I. I cut the conversation short after I sensed that she somehow blamed me for being unacknowledged and ignored. Her husband texted later saying that I'm being hostile over nothing and that I should focus on my husband's health instead of acting petty, but I don't think I did anything that qualifies as petty. Am I the asshole? Yes. (laughs) You're fully the asshole. He was under, like, he was under drugs, like. So in my peripherals, I just start seeing Chad go, tink, 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 tink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you are the asshole. I'm sorry. Like, I agree. Yes, 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 yeah, yes. Y- user, user, you are the asshole because like, you are the asshole. As the story went on, opinions exactly, exactly. When I first read it, I was like, okay, and I started getting annoyed because I was like, have you ever been under anesthesia? Like, no, she <laughs> fucks you up, man. Like, I don't know. And you can just, I don't know, homegirl is major asshole and declared on the Reddit page, by the way, she's declared an asshole for the record. Nice. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah. She is an asshole. Yeah. That was pretty, that was, a, I had to read that one a few times just because I was just like, not because I, I didn't think she was the asshole, but just out of pure shock that she, like, she's clearly having issues with the mom and she's jealous. Yeah. Right? So there's more to the story than just this surface layer of yes, hubby more. being like, mommy, mommy, I'm, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Like I would have, I would have sat and waited for sure. Yeah. It would have been uncomfortable, but I would have, and I probably, you know, that's just me. Like I, like I would have sat there and been a little bit hurt, but I wouldn't have left. Yeah. But like. I would, like, understand that it's not his fault, but I would still deep down be a little bit hurt, probably. How long have they been married? 
how close our hubby and wife, yeah. Who knows? Do they support each other? Like, we do they have a good relationship? <laughs> exactly. There's so many questions that come around with that. That's why I'm just like, some of these are funny. So anyways, okay, here's the next one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I like this one. This one's a little bit longer. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> Am I the asshole for paying for another bride's wedding dress, but not my daughter's? I really want to say yes, but we got to hear the story, but just from the title, yeah, <laughs> you should be paying for your daughter's wedding dress. Like, if you're willing to pay, pay for somebody else's. The titles can be so deceiving. Uh, the titles yeah. can be. They're so tricky. But just so far, yes, but. But, <laughs> so far, yes, but. <laughs> Let's hear it. Okay. <clears throat> My husband and I worked hard and managed to become financially secure adults after both of us grew up in poverty. We raised our children to work hard. We did not spoil them or provide them with a lavish life. As teens, they all had part-time jobs, but we did purchase them their own cars, which they were required to maintain. We also paid for college and we paid for our oldest two kids' weddings. However, we were merely the ones paying and we did not provide any input or suggestions unless they asked. The only thing I'm like, sign me up with these parents. The only thing we didn't pay for uh, their weddings was our son's tuxedo and our oldest daughter's wedding dress. Our youngest daughter, Michaela, is engaged and we are paying for her wedding with the exception of her dress. She must buy her own wedding dress. So that's their agreement. Okay. Michaela invited her daddy and me, <laughs> sorry, to watch her try on dresses with the bridal party. She found a beautiful dress in her budget and we were so honored to have been allowed to take part in her finding the dress and seeing herself as a bride. While there, I complimented another bride on a dress she was wearing and her mother and I struck up conversation and I learned that the family were low income and both the bride and groom and the bride's parents had taken out loans to have a beautiful wedding. The bride is also plus size and I learned that she'd been to six different stores and there had only been a few options for her size, and all of them had just been awful. The bride ended up falling in love with the last dress she tried, but was heartbroken to learn that the consultant had misread the price tag, and the dress was actually $1,000 over budget, and with altercations to make it her size, it was another $1,400. Damn. The bride took the yeah, right? The bride took the dress off and said she'd try to find something online. I grew up poor and I was also a chubby kid. I was bullied, and I was very unhappy. I also wanted more, and in this bride, I saw myself, and I didn't want her to have to settle for a dress that fit versus a dress she loved. So while my daughter was changing, I asked the other bride if I could pay the difference on her dress. Sorry, I got the chills. <clears throat> it was very emotional. We all held each other and cried. She accepted. I very happily paid the difference on her dress. Her mother, herself, and I are now friends on Facebook and my husband and I have been invited to the wedding, which we gladly, we will gladly attend. Um, help this girl in a small way and be invited to her wedding was so unexpected and so amazing. When Michaela found out about this, she threw a fit and said that I obviously had shown how I truly feel about her wedding and herself. And if I cared at all, I'd have paid for her dress too. She now not, she's now not speaking to me or to her father who didn't even have a hand in this, which is unfair. She, na she has now uninvited us from the wedding. We are so hurt and confused. Was I an asshole? Edit. Sucky. Oh, yeah, edit. Okay. Sorry. Edit. I want to add, Michaela didn't know I paid for the dress while we were at the bridal shop. She was in the fitting room doing a last-minute try-on, and I took the opportunity to go, into the, to go do the payment counter during that time, so Michaela didn't lose any of my attention. In fact, we were all done. She'd picked her dress. We'd celebrated. She wasn't in the same part of the shop as us. She didn't find out until a few hours later at dinner when her dad accidentally revealed it then. He's a little talkative and didn't mean to reveal it. They feel guilty for revealing something at dinner that they did for just out of kindness 
And they had already agreed to their daughter that she had to buy her own wedding dress. She'd pay, they'd pay for her wedding. You have to buy for your own wedding dress. And then you get uninvited. I'm, I'm sorry, a, asshole. I'm, or I'm not, she's not torn. an asshole. The mom isn't. The daughter is to me. I, like, I agree. The mother's not an asshole. The daughter's being a little bit of a spoiled brat. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't have done it. Rules or not. No. But the thing is, Jordan, the daughter and the mother already had the agreement that she's buying her own dress. There was no exclusive rule that she couldn't buy anyone else's wedding dress, essentially. Yeah, there was no rule like, <laughs> but you can't buy anyone else's, you know, if you're not going to buy my wedding dress, you can't buy anyone else's. That's how the, that's how it feels like but the daughter's acting, right? I feel like the dad really fucked up and he shouldn't have said anything because in one sense, it's her daughter's special day and like, time and place i don't know like i'm torn because like time and place yeah father should have like should have kept his fucking mouth shut because I, I don't know i'm torn like it's not that flat out asshole it's just the situation could have been a bit different so i think yeah she I took don't, it too far yeah i okay so i don't think the mom and dad, the mom specifically, because the dad was just kind of, the, I don't know. I don't She's The mom's trying to say dad didn't have anything to do with it. Anyways, mom and dad, I don't think they're assholes for helping this person. I do agree with you. I do think that they could have waited. You know, they could have kept their mouth shut until like later. Not necessarily that day, even to just be like, oh, yeah, because how are they going to explain if they go to that wedding, if they have a close relationship with their kids? I don't know. But you know Jordan, I, mean? I don't understand the difference between if, if it's a stranger or not. I don't understand your point. <laughs> not gonna lie. I don't understand your point. Like, see, I would help a stranger. Like, if I had the means, I would be that mom. Yeah. And I'd be pissed if my kid got mad at me. But the only reason I'd be pissed is because I'd be like, you're kind of acting ridiculous. You're kind but of acting spoiled. I get Chelly's point on why the daughter would feel validated in being upset. Yeah. Because it's her, it's her special time. But the agreement was never to buy her a dress to start. Yeah. Like it so, wasn't that she had to pick. We don't know the full backstory. Maybe the option was either we pay for the dress but not for yeah. like not for the entire thing, or we pay for the entire thing and you pay for the dress. We're not getting that. Yeah. Sorry, something for a stranger. Well, that it says, I'm choosing not to do for my child. But they. Th- it does say that they're paying for her wedding with the exception of her dress. There was no like. Yes, yeah, they're they're paying for the entire nothing wedding. Nothing else. Yeah, there like, was nothing else involved. So like it wasn't that they don't have the means to buy the dress, but maybe they're just. I don't know. I don't know the reasoning behind. Like, what was it? That the oldest one, they paid for the dress but not the wedding or something like that? So, the only thing we didn't pay for their weddings. Okay, so so they paid for college and they paid for their oldest kid's two weddings. Okay. However, um, we were merely the ones paying and we didn't provide any suggestions. Okay. The only thing we didn't pay for for their weddings was our son's tuxedo. So they have a son and two daughters. So they didn't pay for anyone's dresses. None of the siblings got or got their special suits or dresses paid for. But however, the parents did pay for everyone's weddings. Yes. No one got special treatment. Yeah, Everyone they have the two thing. older kids, a Majora and a son and a daughter. And they had the same agreement with them that they're paying for the weddings. Same exact agreement. Outfits. Mm-hmm. So um, I feel like so the she has to buy her own wedding dress. Like I think the biggest problem in the story is that the father said something. I think that's the hiccup. I think that's the bottom line. I mm-hmm. feel like like as a let's throw out a am example, not exactly the same thing, but wedding esque, trying to st- take away the limelight almost for mm-hmm. my wedding. My mom. <laughs> My mom texted me a couple, like, like when we were first talking about the wedding, that her and her now husband are going to use our wedding trip as their honeymoon. Did I need to uh-huh. know that? No. No. 